Now we'll get to the next part of the problem where we're actually trying to access information and then we'll try to understand what misses and hits are. Uh, let's look at the instructions. We know that our cache design is a direct map cache, which means um, later if we need to calculate the tag index and offset, this will help us. And then our total cache will contain four 8-byte blocks with 8-bit memory addresses. Okay, first let's calculate our tag index and offset. We know offset is log to number of bytes per block. This will be given right here for 8 byte blocks. So log 2 of 8 equals 3. Okay, then we have index which is log 2 number of sets. We know that the number of sets is equal to the number of blocks. We're given the number of blocks right here when it says we have four 8-byte blocks. So log 2 of 4 is equal to 2. And then tag will be our 8-bit memory address minus our index minus our offset. So it'll be 8 minus 2 minus 3 is equal to 3. Okay, now that we have this information, uh, let's move on to the rest of the questions. So our first question is what is the total size of our cache? The total size of our cache is, is just going to be adding the sizes of each of our blocks within our cache so we know we have four total blocks and each one of them is eight bytes so we're just going to multiply eight by four which equals 32 bytes total the rest of the questions we're going to have to actually go through this table and then see what addresses are requested the most so first let's find our offset our index and then our tag we know our offset is going to be those last three bytes we know our index are the next two and then the tag is the first three. So our index is going to be really important for us when we're actually drawing that cache. I'll highlight them as we go along, but we know this is the index, this is the tag, this is the offset. We have four different combinations for the index. We have 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 0. So when we draw our cache, we have our index indices are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Our tag and when we actually try to access the cache what happens is that we're trying to compare the tag of the address we currently have with the tag of the index um, we're looking at and if those two values aren't the same then it's a miss otherwise if it is then it's a hit and we'll kind of you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about as we go through the rest of this problem but let's get started so the first address um is at zero one if we go to is at index zero one if we go to index zero one there is no tag there so that tag does not match our current tag zero 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 so that will be a miss and then we'll go to that index zero one and our tag will be zero 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 then at the next point we're going to go to one zero we'll check one zero there's the tag there does not match our current tag zero 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 so that'll be a miss and at that index, we will place our tag 000. Then at 11, it will be the same thing. It's going to be a miss because we haven't placed that tag there yet. And then at 11, it will be 000. At 8, we're going to go to 01. We'll check if the tag matches 000. It does match, so that will actually be a hit. So let's do hit. At 32, at index 00, we'll check for 001. It's not there, so that'll be a miss. And then we'll place the tag 001 there. That'll be a miss. Then we'll go to 64. We'll go to index 00. We'll check if the tag 010 is there. It's not, so that means it's going to be a miss. So then um, we'll place our new tag 010 there instead of our 0, uh, 01. So well, we can say that 32 over here is expelled at this point by 64. Okay. Oh, I should have been highlighting. Now we're at 216, we'll go to 11, check for the tag 110 at 11. We don't have the tag 110, so we're gonna write miss, and then we'll replace it with the tag 110. And then we'll say 64 was expelled by 216. Then we'll go down to 96, 00. Does the tag match? No, that'll be a miss. We'll place in our new 011, and then we'll say expelled. Uh, no. And then actually we'll say 96 expels 64. Oh, I just realized that 64 was not the original number that was expelled by 216. It was actually uh, 24 that was expelled, expelled by 216. 
okay? And 96 expelled 64. Then at 0, 1, we check for 0, 0, 0. The tag matches, so it's a hit again. 32, go to 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, no. So we'll say 32 expels at 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 is 96. So it actually expels 96. And then this will be a miss. And then we'll replace the tag with 0, 0, 1. Then we'll go to 0, 0, check for 0, 1, 0, not there, miss. This expels 32. We replace the tag with 0, 1, 0. Then we'll go to 0, 1, check the tag, 0, 0, 0, matches, hit. Finally, uh, we'll go to 40. We'll go to 0, 1, check for 0, 0, 1 in the tag, not there. So it'll, it'll be a miss. And then this time we're replacing that tag 0, 0, 0 with 0, 0, 1. Now we can get started with answering the questions. What was the most requested address? If we look at this table over here, we'll see 8 is accessed 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So we'll just say 0x8. All the others are requested less than 4 times. We have question 3 in decimal. What is the most used cash index so we know that zero one was requested one two three four five times and then we know that zero zero was requested one two three four five times as well so zero one in decimal is one in decimal so that was requested five times, as well as zero, zero, x, zero, zero, was requested zero, requested five times as well. Question four, what is the decimal value of the first item expelled from the cache? The first one that we expelled was 32, because it was expelled by 64. So 32, what is the miss rate across all accesses? This will be just the number of misses um, divided by the number of total accesses. So we have three hits, and then our number of accesses is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it will be 3 divided by 13. And then how many blocks were expelled? Oh, we also know that 8 was expelled by 40. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 total blocks. Hopefully this worksheet was able to help you a little bit with understanding cache misses, hits, and accesses, and understanding uh, how to find that tag index and offset from the given address. Alright, good luck and thanks for watching.